ever make a money mistake, you're not alone. Check this video out. Welcome back. Coming up on today's program, we're going to look at a simple two-step process to avoid and actually cure common money mistakes. We all make money mistakes and our wisdom, in some cases our money wisdom, comes from seeing these and coming out on the other side by our own efforts, with help from family and through professionals. Personally, I've had the scars but also the triumphs in many cases as a money mistake survivor and overcomer. Welcome to What's Next With Money, a program with smart insights to guide your financial decisions. Let's get started. First, we'll take a look at three common money mistakes, and then we'll look at a simple two-step process to avoid and actually cure some of those mistakes. And let me know in the chat below which money mistakes you're concerned about, the ones that keep you up at night, and we can probably make a few videos about those. And remember, when it comes to money mistakes, you're not alone. So here's the first common money mistake. Beneficiary changes and updates. You've all seen the forms electronically or in print. They are ubiquitous. And folks, listing a beneficiary on one of those forms or online, it's like you're declaring a will with no probate. So you've saved some legal fees, but that money absolutely travels fast and unencumbered to the person, whoever that is, that you've got listed. Now recently, a very close friend of mine died after a catastrophic diagnosis. He lived only a few months later, but he had me help him update some beneficiary designations that were not current given his changed marital status. So here are a few beneficiary designation examples you may not have updated or forgot about. Here's one, group life insurance at your employer. You may have not even touched this benefit since you started at that job. You might also have other life insurance that you've purchased on your own or perhaps somebody, a family member purchased for you. And then we have the IRAs, Roths, and Contributory that have beneficiary designation areas. 401ks, 403bs, 457s. And did you know health savings accounts have beneficiary designations? Now there is a category that you may not think you can perform this estate planning magic on, and that's bank and credit union accounts. But there, in many cases, there is a way. Ask your banker or credit union professional about TOD or POD designations. They stand for transfer on death or payable on death. You can add those to accounts, checking and savings that you have. And recently I updated a set of two of these at my bank. Here's the second common money mistake we're gonna talk about. And that's really living below your means, but it's really about cars. And I like cars and most people do. But just think about what we've went through or are going through with COVID-19. The big personal finance revelation or aha moment is simple. Our budgets and spending patterns change from the pandemic. Even if we didn't have a budget, we spent, lived, and worked differently. And yes, I know we're being hit and ravaged by inflation. So this is a negative pressure on our budgets and spending patterns. But perhaps as an employee, you drove to work less. That could have extended the useful life of your car. Now here's a big money mistake remedy, a live below your means item that can actually save thousands annually through your adult lifetime. It's very simple. It's extending the holding period of any car you own. This saves really big bucks that flow to the bottom line of your net worth. Keeping your cars longer has saved me tens of thousands of dollars. So much savings that I bought my dream car, a low mileage used Corvette. And you can see it in this picture that I have. This was my dream car since I was in high school. And here is my 22 year old used SUV that I drive regularly parked next to it. It is that pattern of savings by stretching out car ownership that allowed me to obtain that dream car. Now years ago, I stopped 
the money mistake of frequently upgrading my cars and then started always buying used. If you took a look at my net worth statement, I list my cars as we list all of our assets on that, plus their ages and miles. You're gonna see older vehicles that let the savings and my other growth assets shoot up. For me, it's simple and it's just a personal preference, but I've learned it through years of experience. It's no new cars, no leasing, but happily spending the money to do regular maintenance. And let me throw another quick live below your means bonus, sports betting. Yes, sports betting used to be the area of betting on the ponies, the racing. This is my home state of Kentucky, Churchill Downs, the Kentucky Derby. But I've worked on problem gambling and its interconnection with personal finance for nearly two decades. And let me just say sports betting and gaming should be listed and classified in your life, your financial life as entertainment expenses. And if you have a gambling problem, contact my colleagues at the National Council on Problem Gambling. We'll have an 800 number for you on the screen and other information in the comment section below. And be sure to hit that subscribe and smash that like button. It helps move our content of what's next with money to more people who want to learn. And you're gonna get a little reminder bell when we post a few times a month. Now the third common money mistake is not doing automatic savings. And yes, take this common kitchen timer. This is the idea of developing a pattern of automatic savings really while you sleep. So every little bit of money that comes into your life from paychecks or perhaps other investments or rental income, you wanna take a little portion of that and save it. And it's, you can do it through your employer, with your bank or credit union, and I guarantee you, you will not miss it. This is a very, very common money regret and mistake that is so easy to avoid. And we can do additional videos on other common money mistakes. But next we're going to look is what I promised, how to avoid the common money mistakes and what you can do about them. So again, let me know in the comments section what you think and some of those other videos you'd like to see. So as promised, here's that simple money saving two-step process to fix them. Number one, ask yourself on any personal finance and money management action or decision this, if I continue to do X, what is the next step or results of that action? What is that next money? And then list that next step. Secondly, if you want to course correct that, you would ask, if I do change what I'm doing here in X to Y, what will be the next step or results of that action? And then you can list it. So that's the simple two-step formula. And here are three examples using it on the money mistake topics we've just talked about. Beneficiary designations. Number one, if I don't change or update my beneficiary designations, my money will go to the person listed who may not be the person I want it to go to. And secondly, the course correction, if I do change and update those designations, the money will go to the person listed who I intentionally want it to go to. In the area of cars and living below your means, kind of in that automotive sector, if I don't live, live below my means, or in this case frequently, if I keep buying newer or replacement vehicles on a regular basis, kind of in a short time frame, my net worth is likely to be lower and I'm going to have less invested for retirement and less cash and savings for emergencies. Now, if I do start to infrequently buy used replacement vehicles as I need, my net worth is likely to be higher and I'm gonna have more invested for retirement and cash savings and emergencies. And our third example was automatic savings. Number one, if I do not save something from every set of income, automatic savings, I'm not gonna have the savings and financial buffer I need for emergencies. And two, if I do save something from all that set of income, I will have the savings and financial buffers needed for emergency. So we hope this simple formula can help you tackle and triumph over the money mistakes you might face.
And be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. And don't forget to share this video. And remember, new episodes of What's Next with Money are posted on Thursdays. I'm Brent Neiser, looking to see you next time on What's Next with Money.